Have you always wanted to know how to cook Indonesian yellow rice called nasi kuning? Well, let me show you how. And this is done in a rice cooker. Yes, it is. It is amazing. It's fragrant and delicious, and you're going to love it. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, hit the notifications so you can get like, my weekly videos, which I film out of in this kitchen. <laughs> this is just beautiful. You're going to love it. This is the most incredible rice I've ever had in my life. It's yellow and fragrant. It's from Indonesia. It has the most incredible story. It is an offering to the gods. In other words, when there's a celebration or there's a ceremony or there's a wedding or if even someone's passed on, you know, or there's a baby being born or it's the first baby's birthday or there's anything in between. This rice is made and it's amazing. And they put it up into this really awesome cylinder, don't they? Yeah. A with a, with a cone, right? Yeah. With a, um, a situation on top, a bit of banana, banana leaf. leaf. It's yeah. so easy. I've made it super easy for you at home. If you're not in Indonesia, this is for you at home. This is for me. This is for the guy, Scott, behind the camera, my beautiful husband. Hi, everyone. This is incredible. So all you're going to do, I've got some beautiful, organic, Indonesian, GMO-free rice. Just amazing. You need a cup of this. I'm using a rice cooker. I know, right? I'm stoked. If someone doesn't have a rice cooker, could this still be done on the stove? Yes, it is, but you have to cook it by the absorption method, which in other words, yeah, that means that you've got to bring it to the boil, turn it down to a simmer, put the lid on, and allow those little beautiful seeds or grains to absorb that, that actual moisture. And you have to be around the kitchen to do that. This, I can walk away and do my thing. Like, I don't, I don't have time. Do you know what I mean? So I need rice in there. This is so cool. And you've got other videos showing people how to use a rice cooker for other Oh, totally, right? totally. So many videos using the rice cooker. I've got some lemongrass, which I urge everybody to grow a nice shrub of it. And it's just in the garden. It's fantastic. Super hardy, right? Super hardy. And all I'm going to do is smash it. Oh, jeez. That's a bit of pepper, because I use my pepper grinder thing. <laughs> I know, right? You frightened me there. I wasn't expecting that. Weren't you? Yeah. Okay, watch me, watch me. Just tie it into a knot. Just like this. Straight into there. Got it? Yeah. With me? And then I'm going to get a couple of cloves of garlic. Just going to smash them, take the skins off. Straight into here. Are you telling me this is a one pot meal? This is a one pot meal. Absolutely one pot meal. You've got a little bit of salt. Building blocks of flavor, very important. Can you see in there? Yeah. Great. And now I've got some turmeric juice. Uh -huh. Now I'm surrounded by turmeric and the different gingers. Have a look. Over here, I have a lot of it. If I don't have it, I have this, which is dried turmeric. And I'm going to use about a teaspoon of that. Okay, very different to the fresh. The fresh, I'm going to use, you know, quite a bit. Very, very different. So, so watch, watch this. This recipe has some fresh and some juiced. I mean, no. some juiced and some powder. No. No, okay. So watch me. Yeah. I've got like three tablespoons of the juice. Right. If I was used to powder... Because yep. I didn't have the juice, I'd put one small teaspoon. Right. Concentrated, right? And really, really concentrated. How does someone juice turmeric? Just put it in your slow press juicer. That's all they do. All right. Don't even peel it. Slow press straight, juicer. Straight into my slow press juicer. Right. Push play, get the juice. That's all I did. People had at home one of those fast ones? No, it wouldn't work in the fast one. You'd that. waste too much of it. Yeah. But just use the dried if you don't have the um, situation. What else do I need? Let me go to the coconut milk. Super important. Where am I? Mm -hmm. Coconut milk. Oh, can you smell it already? It's amazing. I'm going to put two cups of coconut milk in. And now I'm going to give it a bit of a stir. Look at that yellow colour. That lemongrass just kind of sits there. Do you want to just tip that container forward? And yeah, totally. Just, just, 
have a sip of that wine. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's it. You can even taste it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's amazing. Okay, that's on there. Push play, walk away. Yeah. The whole place is smelling like a culture that's been, you know, in a Hindu culture that's been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years, right, Scott? Yeah. And this is just, just a beautiful way to bring it home to our tables in Australia. So I'm just going to kind of, I want to keep that to put that on top. So I'm just going to take, oh, look at that little brown bit. I love that on the bottom, actually. I'm just going to take this and slowly dish this up without burning myself. I'm going to have to get a <laughs> tongs to pull that bit of fragrant lemongrass out for mm -hmm. sure. Look at it. Oh, I'm just going to pop that there on the side there. Nasi kuning, we call this. Oh, geez, it's so beautiful and so rich and so fragrant. Look at it. What does it go like this thing? Oh, just on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, any curry really, but seriously, it don't overdo it. I think just some veggies is fine. Mm. Like, and this can be the the heartiness. You know what I mean? This can be the actual dish. That's the great, sh that's the showpiece. You got some great curries in your online cooking class. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've got a rendang from Indonesia. I've got a Thai red curry. I've got a Balinese curry. I've got so many things, but this is just on its own as it is just celebrating a culture that is quite divine, peaceful and really, really calm. And this rice reminds me of that and its people, you know. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Like it. Absolutely give me a thumbs up. This is amazing. Comment below. Tell me what you went through when you made it. This is beautiful. Push the notifications button because I am producing out of this amazing space. I mean, look at it. Recipes that are vegetarian and they're dairy free and they're whole foods. And we're not about dieting or following food trends here. We are about eating and we're about eating a way that serves our ultimate health and our organs that we naturally lose weight and we naturally thrive. And these are one of the dishes that we're making and it's divine. Let me know what your thoughts are on a Balinese yellow rice called nasi kuning. <laughs> See you in another video. Bye.